Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with even more empties for February. I know I've only just put up the February empties but um, I filmed it early. I filmed it on around the 20th because I thought I'd be going into hospital guys which hasn't happened so that's been put back till March. So I thought right I'll film that early. I don't think there'll be too many empties after that. And I had the handful that there are will just go into March if if there are any. But <laughs> we're now on the 27th of Feb, a week later, and all of these have become empty. So I thought, okay, let's come back on and go through some of these because some really, really nice ones here. Things have been gifted for Christmas and birthday and a few things that we purchased before Christmas. So I'm going to go through the enchant and soap goodies first don't forget guys use my code drusilla15 at enchant and soap off your goodies everything is cruelty free everything is gorgeous and made fresh in small batches with love just the way we like it by the lovely claire sanderson now we've got one here i have actually tipped another spray into here so i won't be getting rid of the bottle just because i quite like this mister compared to some of my other ones so yeah, keeping the bottle for now. This is the Enchant and Soap Feeling Foxy Room Spray. Got this one in a mystery box. My thumb is bright yellow, I've just noticed, off of helping the little one. And I've got pen all over me. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> yeah, this one is rhubarb and black currant. But the rhubarb is very, very strong. It's just really nice, like that rhubarb and custard sweets kind of smell to it. It's gorgeous. Gosh, that yellow on my hand's really bad. I'm going to have to wash that off in a second. We've been messing with card making and stamps and such. Um, yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. The retail, they retail for $5.99, so it's a good price. I was thrilled to get this in a mystery box. I definitely love anything in this scent. I also really enjoyed the rhubarb and custard scent, which Claire did last year. And I had a perfume in that as well. Also gorgeous. Anything with rhubarb, basically, we're a big fan of. And Festa really liked this as well. It's very cute with a little box on, so I 100% recommend this scent in any product, really. But yeah, the room sprays have been a nice discovery. We have gone through a couple of them in the last few months. One of them is in my other empties, which I've still yet to film, guys, the last four months of last year. But for now, I'm just filming the items that count in the low buy. But yeah, 100% recommend this one. Another one from Enchant and Soap. He is a snowman. It's the Mint Fresh Bath Salts. These were really nice. Um, the bath water turned like a nice lilac-y colour. That was really cool. Um, Jules gifted us these for my birthday so very very grateful they went straight into use and <laughs> we absolutely love them little one loves this bottle too so I am going to keep this bottle and just put I've got like some white West Lab bath salts that I can just tip into here and then yeah that'll look great because white will look good because these are snowman just needs to give them a little rinse through first really love the bath salts and the bath dusts and the bath bombs and chant and soap all so good so yeah if you love um bath bombs there is a bath bomb mystery box option which i believe is three for ten pounds but you probably get a free face mask with that and you can use my code, bring it down to £8.50 for three bath bombs. So you can't complain at that price. We certainly got a couple of bath bomb mystery boxes. I did share them on Instagram. But it was around that time we were in the hotel. And I didn't get around to properly sharing things on YouTube. But we did buy two bath bomb mystery boxes. So yeah, big fan of those as well. So thanks again, Jules, for this. Like I say, we're going to keep that bottle. Just going through the full size ones first. This one's not enchanting soap. 
it's a very basic Tesco essential soap. It was just something we had from a couple of years ago and we put it into use just for washing our hands really. It was okay, but it was basic. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it again. I'm just glad to have got it used. So yeah, this is an example of the type of things that I just want to get out. They may not be our favourite, but they function, they're usable. I just wouldn't buy it again. And then we've got the furry drops bath salts. These were like all different colours. Not as much colour payoff with this one as the minty one, but they smelled gorgeous. Furry drops is one of my favourite scents. And this was one I kind of got gifted for my birthday from Claire. So thanks again, Claire. There's a few in here. So I, got, I got straight into that box. <laughs> And we have got a box for Mother's Day here. We'll see if I can manage to not open it until Mother's Day. I'm trying, but I'm very tempted to open it. Very tempted, because <laughs> Festa picked me up one. So, yep, this is a beautiful scent. Must try Furry Drops. We've got a deodorant, which... Sure, Bright Bouquet. I certainly enjoyed any citrusy smelling ones to floral not the biggest floral fan but it was okay I'm just glad to have another deodorant out because I'm getting through my deodorant hard surely uh, slowly but surely all the ones that I've got now are double size so probably not going to see any empties for a while with deodorant but plodding through them wouldn't really buy that again hazy days twisted mermaid wax melt this one was kindly gifted to me from Jules I've actually used two Jules this month from you that you gifted me from Hazy Days this one and the Cranberry Crush one and the Cranberry Crush one was probably my favorite of the two because we burned that downstairs little one loved it Festa loved it so it's always great to have a smell that everyone likes now we did like this one but we loved the Cranberry Crush so yeah but we are a fan of fruity scents this one was also very nice they do a subscription box and things so i'll link them down below as well go give them a check out we've got the hugens Le gommage visage face scrub this one was originally in a glossy box i believe and i won this one in a giveaway from darcy darkness and i got straight on it I only actually own one other face scrub, but that one is a full size. So I thought, I'll give this one a go. I really liked it. It looked a little bit like um, oatmeal, but when you used it, it had like a minty, a minty smell, which was really nice. I would recommend this, only it doesn't seem to be available anywhere, guys. I, I looked for it because I enjoyed it so much. There's a couple of people selling this mini on eBay and it'll cost you about 10 with the postage. So I thought, oh, that's not great for a 12, 12 mil, I believe this is. And then I tried looking up the full size, and it, which is about 25 quid, but it seems to be out of stock everywhere. So I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get to enjoy this again, but I really liked it. And um, thanks again, Darcy. It, it was nice to have a little face scrub something that I needed like I say I've only got one which is from Origin so I'll be giving that a go that is a full size and we'll see how I get on with that one but really liked this it's just a shame it's not more widely available I think that can be an issue with glossy box sometimes can't it if you do love something it's quite hard to get hold of it's quite strange but yeah loved it can't believe how much yellow is on my fingers from this stamp and stuff guys so that's not everything from Enchant the Soap yet. We've got a cauldron bath bomb. We absolutely love these cauldrons. This one is the Till Death bath bomb cauldron. It's in Purple Rain scent. You can currently buy Purple Rain at Enchant the Soap with our design on it. You can get a whip soap at the moment and a four in one. And you can use my code on those too. These cauldrons are, are so great, they're so moisturising, they're so full of colour, packed with colour. Purple, red, black, it bubbles away for absolutely ages. Myself and the little one shared this one. We do have 
a couple more of these. Yeah, absolutely love them. Because we had quite a few bath bombs in a haul and then the two mystery boxes we had as well. But this was from our haul from about five months ago, something like that. Yeah, brilliant. Love Purple Rain. We're currently using the Purple Rain whip soap in the bathroom as well. So that's all the full sizes. Although I think I did include a mini there. The Now Now shampoo, this was nice because I'd been using that Monday shampoo that we picked up last month and didn't like it. And this one, Nourishing Shampoo for Highly Processed or Brittle Hair. This brought my hair back to life a bit. My hair has been looking a bit better the past couple of weeks after moving away from that Monday stuff. Don't buy it, guys, especially if you've got um, thin fine hair it was it was awful <laughs> it really was but yeah this was a nice one also gifted this one um in the giveaway from Darcy so thanks again needed something after that one 75 mil probably got five or six uses out of this to be honest maybe five so yeah it went quite far we've got a raspberry candy floss body butter 25 mil on this one so this is the smaller size this smelled gorgeous I loved covering myself in this and you can get body butters in a number of different sizes from Claire but it is nice if you get one of these ones just to try and I have quite a few open but I opened it and next minute it was gone because I was just covering myself in it I felt like I was at the circus so it was great really big fan of that one also got the popcorn whip soap so yeah some really fun new scents happening ah over at enchanted soap that's quite greasy on the outside and the vitamask lip mask not too sure about this one guys i think probably a lip mask is a little bit of a gimmicky product but i gave it a go and i couldn't really talk with it on i was attempting to and then the sort of serum started dripping into my mouth started tasting it and after about five minutes i, I took it off i don't think this is a product for me i'm too much of a chatterbox to be able to sit with something like that like with a normal face mask it gives you a proper mouth hole but this didn't really it was nice to try nice to give a go like I'm very grateful to get to try it again this was one in the giveaway from Darcy but yeah not for me not for me and then we have a little Olaplex sample number three herb factor there was only really enough in here for one go and I'm not a hundred percent that it did enough for me to go buying and spending all the Plex prices. But if I got any of their stuff again, I'd give it a try. But I don't think I'd go out of my way to get it. Then we've got, oh, Shower Wishes. Paradoxal from Enchant and Soap. This is really nice, this Paradoxal spell. I think in the longer term, I definitely want it in a perfume and maybe a whipped and a few other things, a, a bath bomb would be nice in it. It's such a nice smell. Much nicer than Paradox by Prada, which is so much more expensive. And these shower wash, shower wishes, they're a single use product, lather in your hands, get a little bit of water on them. And then you just start sort of scrubbing away and it bubbles away. Really nice, strong smell. And I don't often take showers, but I did with this. And it was a nice little treat. These retail for $2.99. Sometimes you can get them a bit cheaper. I'll use my code. So it is a nice shower treat. And if you're someone who doesn't take baths, if you're more of a shower person, I would definitely recommend getting one of these. And even if you only take the occasional shower, like me, <laughs> I would still recommend getting one of these. Because they just smell awesome and thinking about that now and how it felt on my body like I wish I had another one 
I'm really hoping I've got one of these shower wishes in my Mother's Day mystery box. It doesn't have to necessarily be the scent because it'd just be nice to have another one. But yeah, I'd love to get the scent again. Top product. Really fun as well. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for that one. We've got a hand cream from Neutrogena. Concentrated, scented, Norwegian formula. This was more like a balm than a cream. It was deeply moisturising, instant relief for dry chapped hands in just a drop. It certainly did. I was actually very pleasantly surprised by this product. And if I was needing something and I spotted this in the Harlem High Street, I probably would pick it up, you know, and I didn't think that would be the case because... It looks quite boring. I don't like the packaging. I think it is quite medical looking. So it's not very fun looking. But it's a damn good product. And yeah, if you're parched or you're in incredibly dry conditions working and things like that, get a, get, get a hold of this. But I do have quite a few hand creams to use up before I think about getting another. And I do quite often use body butter from Claire as hand cream as well. But also liked this we've got a boss hugo boss the scent for him after i used the ladies one last time Festa said oh go on i'll give the boss one a go and he quite liked it he's okay for fragrance but he did say he approved of this one and finally batty for black grape shower steamer it this did smell very nice because black grape is a really nice scent but if you're someone who has a bath and takes baths like I think you get more well you definitely do get more out of a bath bomb than a shower steamer they're a bit like they just bubble away at the bottom of the shower and much as that smell goes up and smells nice it seems a little bit a little bit of a waste like I think you know I'd much rather have a bath bomb but I 100% would buy the shower wishes again but if you're someone who can't bath or doesn't you know doesn't have a bath this might be a nice alternative but if you're a bath addict like me then you're probably going to go for a bath bomb or a bath dust or a bath salts over one of these but nice to have the option and that's it guys so <laughs> quite a lot there in the past week we left off last time with 13.6 points for this lot I'm going to give myself nine full sizes because I'm counting that cranberry crush one that isn't here can't find the packaging for that on the hazy days five minis that's 2.5 points and three samples 0.3 points so a total of 11.8 points on to the 13.6 I already had for February so that's actually 25.4. So we're moving quite a lot out this month. And, you know, 25 points, that means I could get 12 products. But I only have £9.25 spend for February. <laughs> so it's borderline impossible to get that many products with £9.25. So I'll be back soon with... That's good. That's the big restrictor here. Not so much the points I'm finding. But yeah, um, not too not too bad. Not too tempted to buy anything. As I say, I've got a box there for Mother's Day. So I know I've got some newness coming. And yeah, I'll be back soon, guys, with February entries. And we'll see where we're at and how much I've spent this month. Um, if you're doing a no-buy, let me know down below. I'd love to come over and watch you. Alright guys, much love, take care of yourselves, till the next one.